using the Pink Christmas Purse Journal Kit available in the Dear's Julie Julie Etsy shop. And making a little purse journal. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. And welcome to the messy desk. We are going to show you the mini purse kit that I have. This is the Pink Christmas mini purse kit. And it will make four of the mini purses. So I'm going to show you the kit. And then we're going to make one with my stash over here. Because I've been, um, I put together some stuff so that I can make some so that I have them for gifts. So you get four of your, um, your tie strings. So that's to tie your signature. You get four pieces of my favorite gold tool. And this will give you um, your... For your tag and for your paper clip, you get sequins and some little bling, and you get a total of four paper clips. So one is holding some of your stuff together, and three more in your thing, and then you get four sets of two tickets. So that's one for each of your little journals. You get four of the sparkly hearts stickers. You get four of the little tags. This is made from the Pink Christmas Dear Julie Julie Digital Deluxe Kit. You get four of the images of the little girls. You get Santa with the, with the words. And you get Santa with the flowers. Um... So, and you get both. You get f um, four of each. So you could make two paper clips. You could, um, for each one, or you could, you know, anyway, you'll see. Then you get two of this card. Isn't this pretty? It's double-sided. It's so pretty. And you get one of these. Okay, so right now, all of the kits, that is what is in them. And they are limited at this time. Um, unless I, the, the cards may change out. And if they do, then the picture, um, in the Etsy shop will change and you'll see the, the cards that will change because, you know, I only had so many of these. <laughs> and, um, so there you go. So that is what is in the actual kit. It gives you enough to make four of these little purse journals that you can then make for gifts or um, they also make cute like Christmas ornaments you could fill them with pictures um, that kind of thing they're they're really fun so I'm gonna put this over here so that when it gets to that point I have those as well <laughs> roll the sleeves so I have my my binding string I have my bling for this one, so you so each one will get three, three little bling. If, when you're making them, so you're gonna start with your card. Okay, so you want to have one of these cards, and you're gonna go ahead and open it. And after you see what we do with these, you can go ahead and, you know, if you want to use the the card with the gold on it as one of your background cards you can do that okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half now remember if you can make these with what you have but I do have the kits and people that have bought the other kits have been very happy with them having the tutorial to go along with it so you'll go ahead and fold your card okay so there's my card front and then you are going to want to either cut your image or you can rip your image I did this ahead of time so that you would be able to see. So this is the image, how it started. Okay, so I've cut off the words. I didn't really want the words on the cover. And I really like the ripped 
look. So let's go ahead and just add that. Again, I'm using Fabric Tech because I'm making a video, but I really have been using my Tombow Mono liquid glue again. Okay, so here's our cover. And there we go. And so next, while this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and we are going to take two tickets. I'm going to take the large end and put it behind. I want my numbers up. That's just my preference. I'm going to use the fabric tack again because it dries so fast. If you have your hot glue gun out, you can use your hot glue gun. Just remember that metal is going to get very hot. And um, so just take and then go ahead and put it together. So this gives you a paper clip and um, call this a flat paper clip. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this Santa. So this is the um, thumbnail print from my computer. And look, you've got the words pink Christmas. So you could use that somewhere if you wanted to. I'm going to cut this just under that. And I actually like this with the words. I um, at first was trying to play with and was like, oh, I have those words. But I really actually end up liking it. So I've cut it to just fit inside these lines. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and glue that down. Again, using the fabric tack, and I'm just dotting it on. Where my finger was, there's there's too much space right there. I don't want it to come up, you know. <laughs> okay. So we'll come down and cover these lead numbers. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do for my ticket. And then I am going to take my piece of, so there's one of these for each book, each little journal, each little purse journal, there's one of these for it in your kit. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. Cut it in half. Share half with me. And just attach it just like that to my paper clip. Okay, just like that. I have my paper clip is ready. And that'll go on the front. Of course, you can make something else if you want, but this will this helps hold it closed. And um, yeah, so there's that. Now we'll save this. And let's go ahead. Your next your Next thing you're going to want to do is with your other half, there it is, you're going to go ahead and put this through your tag, okay? Now you can go ahead and put it through and staple it. That's what I actually would do, and that way it stays more flat. Um, you can tie it in a knot if you want. You can tie it in a bow. No, there's not enough room to put in a bow. That's just from that song. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And there's our tag. It's ready. Now we are going to want our other... So you're out of, out of these, you're going to be able to make your four covers. Okay, so... And now we're going to use this and 
can go ahead and on this one, you can just Okay, so what you are going to want from this one is you're going to want a pocket for the front. Let's go ahead and you have, this is how much you have for each, each booklet. And you can use it all up. So you could punch something with it if you wanted to. Okay, you can use your cutter. Okay, so we're going to want a pocket. I'm going to cut it right on this line. Okay, I, I just evened that up down there. Let's see if how it fits in here. It's a little big. So let's come over here. Actually, I like the gold, that there's gold on that side. You can be more precise if you want and measure things. We're just going to go around the bottom of this in a U-shape. Because we want it to be a pocket. Then we're going to put it down right here in the front just like that. Okay, so there's our front. And um, let's see. So on the inside, this is the part you're going to have to get items from your inside your stash. And depending on what you want to use, I'm going to use... Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm going to use composition book. Okay, we're going to do five to start with. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and of course, what I probably, or I would probably go ahead and do all four of these streamlined. So rip out all four, put them on, or, you know, make my cover, put on the cover all four at a time is how I would streamline it. Yeah. Streamline or manufacture line. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I'm just gonna going to do it that way and then I'll tell you what the measurement would be okay um, you're gonna fold it at about two and a half imagine that so fold it at two and a half and then go ahead and mark it And again, I would, each thing I would be doing all enough for all four of them and get them done much faster. Oops, I was on the wrong side. <laughs> Bring it over here. This one, the Martha Stewart, uh, or no, this is the Recollections. It, it will cut through at least five pieces of composition paper. Okay, so we're going to line this up.
There we go. Much better. I don't know what happened that first time. Okay. So now we've got our piece here and we can come in and measure. We want to leave a little bit of a margin down there at the bottom. Oop. We're going to come up and leave a little bit at the top. I'm going to do this mini. And some of them on this one apparently are going to have <laughs> the rounded corner because I didn't take it off. Okay, so we're going to save this. It's going to it's going to go right in here. It will give us some more note paper. This becomes our our booklet just like that okay and so we'll go ahead and just put it in I already have my needle threaded I'm just gonna do a two hole pamphlet stitch like various there's not various sizes of paper all of the paper is the same size I'm, I'm not gonna use a template I don't want the hole to be any bigger than it has to be. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull that back. Tie it. And then tie it again. Okay, and then just pull it as tight as you can without, without breaking your string. There we go. Okay, so I've still got my needle in. And I am going to get out my sequins. Now remember you you have a little package of sequins that came with your kit. Mine are all in here and Santa. No, oh, Christmas tree. Well, whatever comes out. And yours are all gold. Mine are like this. This is the same batch that you get. Well, you get a little tiny batch of it, but you get it when you, um, with the McCall's Purse Journal, you get all the colors. Okay, so I'm going through, because I'm, I'm going through the top hole. And then through the bottom hole. And then you could add a bead or something if you wanted to also. Um, I'm not this time. And here we go. Pull our needle out and tie a knot in the bottom of it. And then you can pull your tree down to the knot. And you can thread your needle again. You can put this one on first. I've done that in some of the videos. I, I put the one of the sequins on first or one of the beads on first. It also helps to keep the um, keep the string from pulling through. Okay, so through the top of the candle through the bottom of the candle. Okay. 
tie a knot. And pull your sequin down. Okay, so you can have this on the outside or on the inside, whichever that you want. And so there's our signature ties. And then next we're going to go to the center and we are going to take the card that we've been working with. And we are going to cut ourselves a belly band. Okay, so well, since we have it like this, let's go ahead and cut this like this. This is going to give us a belly band. We're going to want to cut this down. You can have the tab hanging out if you want to. I um, I don't want a tab hanging out. Okay, the thinner that you get that line, the better. I didn't do so good on getting it thin. There's our belly band, and we are going to put our heart in the front here with the other, and then um, we can put this little tag that we have left behind, or you can, you can add another pocket or something to another page if you want to. And then the other thing that we have is our tag. And um, you see that it's actually now ends up being a little bit big. So I'm just going to cut it up to, to here. And hopefully you'll get yours, your line of glue thinner or you'll have your belly band go all the way to the edge. I just fit I just cut my um, tag down till it it fits. okay there we go. There's our tag and it fits and we got our um, our fluffy tool going off the top and then we'll have our closure which is our paper clip. That is our closure for our little purse journal. And now we've got some things that we can still use. We have Pink Christmas. We can put that in there somewhere. Just, you know, because we have it. It says Pink Christmas Santa 5x7. <laughs> so there's Pink Christmas. And you don't have, of course, you don't have to use this. I'm going to put it on the belly band just. Just so we have something going on there. Okay. Now you also, you get a, one of the heart stickers for each one. Now you can put that on the front. Or you could put it inside on the front page. However, whatever you want to do. I'm going to put it on the front. I like it because it's sparkly. But it won't... Um, it's not going to... It's, it's not big and bulky. So we have the negative part of the sticker. And we can just take that out. and place it here on the front page. So, um, so you can do it like this or on this other one that I made. I did it just like that. So, but I think that's kind of cool to have that as your opening page. 
And so let's continue. Okay. And I've lost my three little blinks, so I'm going to grab from here. <laughs> So you have a dot, dot, dot for each card. And, um, you know, you could put a little tab on the outside and put it on the tab. We're going to put it right here underneath next to the heart. And then the other thing that I like to do is I have glitter fingernail polish. This is not in your kit. This is just something extra. I like to add some type of fun glitter. And her dress has some pretty pink flowers. So I'm just going to glitter up their dresses. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the, the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some fingernail polish to Santa. To the flowers. Okay, and um, this is, this fingernail polish, I get it at Dollar Tree. It's number 544. And you'll see me, I use that a lot. It dries real fast. And so I like that. So, so we have our cover. I chose on um, this one to go ahead and rip out the girls. We have tied in composition book paper. So I took the composition book, took the strings out, pulled it out, and it gave me lined paper. I actually do that so that I can have um, pages in my journals, but I also I grabbed it for this one as well. So we have the pocket inside with the heart and this little tag and then the um, leftover papers from cutting it off. So you have all of that in there. And then we have our belly band and our tag. We have our signature strings with our um, little sequins on it. And you know what? We do have... Don't, don't knock over... I'm going to put this right here. We do have our other Santa, and we might, I mean, you can use it in something else, but we might, I found, <laughs> might as well put them in here somewhere, right? You could make another um, paper clip out of him and you, uh, to use him somewhere. Um, I think we'll just put him right here in the center of our first page. right in the middle of the first page. And glitter them up. So these, these little purse um, journals are fun because even somebody that wouldn't normally journal might use one of these in their purse to take down notes and, um, you know, make grocery lists or whatever. So that is my little purse journal. And the kits are available now in the Etsy shop. You have the choice of the this pink Christmas kit. Or the kit that um, features McCall. Okay, so that's the other Christmas kit. It's available in the Etsy shop as well. And so I hope you enjoyed that. Again, with your little kit, you can make four of these little journals. You have everything except for the papers that you'll use to fill in here. It can, and your needle. So you'll need a needle, glue, and the paper. And the fingernail polish, if you want to use fingernail polish. You can use glitter glue or whatever also. So I hope you enjoyed this. And um, we'll wait for that to dry. 
Oh, look at we've got Santa. We've got Santa. We'll put Santa right there. You know, we don't want to waste anything, right? So what a great, I mean, this could be a gift for coworkers, for a teacher, especially if you have several teachers. Um, and of course, you can go ahead and take this idea and use the things that you already have. But if you really like and just want to have, um, have a kit, then um, we do have one ready for you. So what do you think? Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.